Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a brand new Ledger Nano S using the Ledger Live application. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is head over to the uh, Ledger website. And when you get to the Ledger website, you'll want to go to the Apps menu and uh, just download Ledger Live. The button here should reflect whatever OS you're currently using. Uh, you can also click this link if you want to pull down the one of your choice. Uh, and once you download it, you can just drop it wherever you need to. You can drop it in your downloads folder or on your desktop, it doesn't really matter. All right, and you're just going to want to double click that guy and uh, set it going. Okay, so on first launch, you'll be presented with this screen here. You'll click Get Started. And you'll want to initialize a new device. All right, we'll choose Ledger Nano S and click Continue. And then it tells you exactly what you need to do on the device to set up your PIN. You can choose a four-digit PIN or up to an eight-digit PIN. It has to be at least four digits, and it can go all the way up to eight. So, of course, the eight-digit would be the most secure. Okay, so after the first initial welcome screen, you'll hit both buttons and choose configure as new device by hitting the button above the check. And the first thing it'll want you to do is create a pin code. I like to write it down on a piece of paper first so I don't forget it while I'm entering it. And you use the buttons up and down to choose your pin code. After the fourth number, you'll see a check, but I like to choose an eight number pin code. And of course, you'll need to confirm your PIN after you've entered it the first time. So just enter the same PIN code again. All right, and then it's going to present you with a screen where you're going to need to uh, write down each of the 24 words uh, of the new recovery phrase that it generates when you set up a new device. Make sure they're all written down neatly and legibly. Okay, so now we're ready to move into the most important step of the setup procedure, writing down our recovery phrase. So as you can see, the first word is showing, and what we need to do is take our recovery card that came in the box, and we need to write down every single word in this 24-word sequence on the card. Uh, we'll use the buttons on the Ledger Nano to advance to the next word, and when we're finished, we'll have a total of 24 words written down on this card. Okay, and when you get to the end of the list of words, it's going to ask you to confirm three or four of them to make sure that you've written them down correctly on your card. All right, and then they have a little security checklist that you'll go through here. Did you choose the pin yourself? Yes. Did you write down your recovery phrase? Yes. And then it's going to check all right, and uh, when you're finally finished, you can set a password if you like on the Ledger Manager Live app. And you'll click continue after that. And it's going to ask you a couple of little questions. You can decide uh, what you'd like to let them know about and what you don't. And voila, the device is ready. All right, they're going to give you a little warning about dealing with cryptocurrencies in general. All right, and when uh, you get to this screen, your uh, Ledger app should just be empty with only settings there. So the first thing you want to do is put some apps on the Ledger. And it asks you to confirm that on the device. You can see over here there's a check mark. So you just hit that button it will allow the ledger manager to access the device. Now at this point you can add whatever cryptocurrencies you would like to store on the ledger. We'll start with Bitcoin. At this point you have already uh, told the ledger that you want to access it so it probably is not going to ask for a confirmation for each app that you install. I'm just going to install the top couple here, Ethereum and Bitcoin. And I'll put Litecoin on there. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and put Stellar on here. And Vertcoin. 
All right, and then when you're done installing all of your apps, you can go back out here to the portfolio, and now you want to add the accounts that will correspond to whatever apps you've uh, installed on the ledger itself. So the first one we'll add will be Bitcoin. We'll do that, we'll click continue. And it wants you to enter the Bitcoin app on the device. So you'll just go over to your device, navigate over to the app in question and hit both buttons. And then you're ready to go. It's gonna synchronize up to the ledger and present you with a field where you can uh, name this account whatever you would like i'm just going to call it bitcoin you'll have that you'll need to check that box off and uh, click add account all right and then we'll go ahead and add the ethereum as well let's add ethereum and it, it's going to ask you to enter the ethereum app so you're going to need to navigate uh, out of the Bitcoin app and then navigate over to the Ethereum app. Hit both buttons. Now I've noticed that sometimes the device is uh, does not always recognize that when you enter the application uh, in this interface. So the, the workaround is just close it and, and re-attempt. Now that you're already in the Ethereum app, it should see that. Right? Click continue and lo and behold, there it goes. All right. And then it does its little sync routine and you can name this account anything you like. I'm just going to call it Ethereum and click add account. And there we go. And you'll proceed in the same way with the other apps that you've installed on the device that you would like to track the balances there. And then uh, I one thing I will point out is that not every app that is possible uh, to be installed on the ledger uh, is available in the live. So if you remember, we put Stellar on there, but Stellar is nowhere to be found in the Ledger Live application. You can store Stellar on your Ledger Nano S, but you cannot access it through Ledger Live. You have to use the Stellar Ledger application on the Stellar website. Uh, there's a couple of other small cryptocurrencies similar to that. I believe Ripple and Tron as well. It's just one of the facts of life that we have to deal with at this point. All right, and once you've got your account set up, you're ready to transfer some cryptocurrency in there. So I've got some other great videos on doing transfers back and forth, and I, I invite you to check those out. I would like to remind you that I have a live stream every Friday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, the live Q&A in L.A. I encourage you to join me there and throw out any questions that you may have. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell there that'll allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.